Hi YouTube, Shiny Tentacruel back for another exciting episode of Water World Challenge. Today we're going to be going back down into the mine, hopefully trying to uh, collect more gold so that we can accomplish the Smelt 10 gold task. But we'll also be looking for diamonds, of course. Um, as you can see, the island's a little bit expanded. Um, I've got uh, an extra chest now, so we've got a little bit more item organization, materials and tools in this one, and uh, miscellaneous other things and food in this one. Um, so let's get to it. Um, first, I want to make sure that I have a shovel um, so that we can collect some dirt, and I also want to bring uh, a couple extra pickaxes so that we don't have to just use the iron one. So I'm going to go ahead and make some sticks here and then we'll make a shovel and then we'll make some pickaxes. There we go. And um, do we have any more torches? Not currently. Well, actually, let's make some torches then. Um, it's always nice to have extra torches because you will use them up eventually. So, I'm just going to make a whole mess of torches. And we won't take them all with us, but we'll take, we'll take 64. That's a solid stack. And I'll take these watermelons too. Alright, so I think that's... Yes, that's the way. I kind of remember now because it's on the corner that has the watermelon farm on it. And uh, so I've got my first ch um, commenter challenge. The The person that actually made this map, KD Studios, is uh, following my series here. And they suggested that when I build my two-story building, that it be a castle. So... I will be doing that when we build our two-story building. We will be building a castle. Um, so go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll throw a link to their channel in the description. Um, although I'm sure they'll probably end up commenting on this video since I addressed them directly. But uh, go check out their channel. They have some um, other gameplay footage that you might enjoy. And uh, So go check it out. Let's see... I don't really know where I'm going in here. So there's a lot of things that have already been explored. This looks like an area that has not been explored. So we're going to go ahead and grab this iron here. Be silly not to. Oh man, I just remembered how much iron we got in the last few episodes and I should have built some armor before I started this trek. Oh well, I guess that uh, just makes it a little more exciting for you guys to watch. Holy smokes! Okay, well, I am probably gonna... Oh man, are they shooting each other? Good. I love it when they get in fights with each other. Okay. Because <laughs> there was no way we would have survived that otherwise. I'll just let them kill each other. Um... There's some gold here. Well, I don't know what's underneath it, so if I mine it, it might just fall to the ground. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That spider came out of nowhere. Holy smokes. Alright, actually, I am gonna get this gold. Looks like there's a dirt block underneath it. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. Okay. I'm going to get this one too. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Alright, I'm just going to jump down there and... Oh, there's two of them? There you go. See, they're shooting each other. Alright, we got them. Wow, that was... That was a lot of skeletons. Alright, let's see. Split. Is there another? 
must have been a glitch or something. That scared me. Because it seems like... Do arrows fall? Well, they do. That's silly. Why do they fall if you can't pick them up? I wish you could pick up the arrows that they shoot at you, because then you could, like, tank a bunch of arrow shots just to get a bunch of arrows for free. Oh, this isn't working because I'm not using iron. Herpeter. I'm glad I realized now I'm not after I had destroyed all of the ore blocks and then been like, whoa, where's all the gold I just got? Okay, so how much do we have? Five. We've got two at the base, so I still need three more in order to complete the goal. Is this just a hole? It goes all the way up. Oh, it does! This goes all the way up, but we don't have a way to breathe, so I can't actually use that really. Although that is kind of a fun thing. Whoa, I hear something. Huh. Oh, whatever it was, I don't hear it anymore. Oh, I'm like half dead. I should probably eat. That would be uh, that would be a smart thing to do. Hmm. 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 There's some lapis. Why can I not get out of this? There we go. Okay. I'm gonna throw a torch there. And we can get this iron here. And lapis. I don't really know what I'm going to do with lapis, but I suppose I can use it to try out the new um, colored glass. I was kind of thinking it would be quite appropriate to use blue glass, considering we're in a water world. It's like blue seems to be the color of the world, so... I suppose that's what I'll use it for once I do glass. So I have to get sand first. Well, there is some sand over there that we just passed. Maybe I should. Ooh, that's gravel. Alright. Oh, there's some iron up here, too. Wow, there's a lot, a lot of iron. And a lot of coal. Well, so far in this series, you or in this episode, even you guys have seen me dig straight down and straight up. So that that should tell you how much I care about those um, rules of Minecraft. <laughs> I don't always follow them. I'll admit it. And uh, someday it might screw me. But let's see what's in here. Not a lot. There's more stuff down here too. Uh. Free torches for everybody. Um, I don't really want to go that way right now. Oh, there's some gold. There we go. Now we'll be able to uh, accomplish the ten gold. Uh, challenge. Smelt 10 gold. Hmm. I feel like there might be something on the other side of this gravel. Mm, maybe not. Hmm. There's a big hole in the middle of it, but no, there's nothing over here. Okay, so let's find another way to go further this way, up the stairs.
some lava. We don't have a bucket, but at some point we do need to collect um, lava because one of the goals is to make a cobblestone generator and we need a bucket of lava to do that. And I don't have any bucket with me. That seems like a poor decision. I should have, should have some bucket of water with me. So once we get out of the mine area and into like some serious caves, we will run into areas where there's just lava everywhere, and it's going to be nice to have a water bucket so we can uh, get rid of the lava and turn it into obsidian. Then we'll actually be able to like walk on it and fall on top of it and have skeletons shoot us into it and we won't die and we won't lose all of our items. I won't be very angry. <laughs> These are the things that I should plan for, but I don't always do it because, well, it just makes for better videos and also because I forget. Some iron over here that I seem to have missed. I'm gonna grab this. Seems to be like a lot, a lot of iron. I mean, because we got like 30 or so last time we were in the caves too, and now I've already got 36, so. Seems like a lot of iron in these mines. Some more coal. Here a slime somewhere. Hmm. Anything over here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep going this way. Oh, that's a creeper. Got him. And there's nothing else here, really. Usually when you get to these uh, four pillar type things, it's like a crossroads and you can get to a bunch of different tunnels. Like usually it splits into four directions when you get to this structure here with the four wooden pillars, but... Hmm. There's some iron here. So we can grab that. But I don't see any other ways on this. Might have just found a dead end. Hmm. Not an incredibly exciting dead end either. It's cool when you find the treasure chests, the mine carts with the chests in them. And I was really hoping to find um, find that so that we can get a uh, maybe pumpkin seeds. That'd be cool. But, uh, if we were playing normal survival, I'd be making sure to get all of these minecart tracks, but in Waterworld survival, there's no land, so there's no point in picking them up. It just seems like a waste of time, and even if we collected a bunch of them, we'd never use them for anything, so... Oh, that's the way we came. It's over here. That. Okay, I'm just gonna... Excavate this hole here. Oh, we've been over here before. Mm, some more coal. I'll take it. Coal is good because we can get more torches. I like having torches. I also like being able to smelt things in the furnace. So I'm going to take all of this coal. There will probably come a point in the series where we won't need to mine coal or iron. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. That scared me. I thought there was lava or something because it lit up the area that I'm digging in. Oh, there is lava. Well then. 